I was born watching the first man that I ever loved and trusted beat on my mother. And then she went from that relationship to another relationship where she thought she fell in love with another man who molested me. You know, and no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try to love people, it's like everybody wants to come from me for continuing to love. You missed part one please click the very first link in the description below of this video to watch part one where you will see Fallon kissing a potential new boo not saying he is okay and also the conversation about chris brown sliding into her dms allegedly so go to part one for all of that tea this video part two yeah she clapped back at people telling her that she misses her ex-husband simon she had a lot to say so there's tea in this video as well but this video is going to get heavy because she shared something that i was just like wow but let's get into the very short intro and into the video what's up my final loves it's miss finan d coming to you all from finan team and news i posted a video about some of the ladies from the real housewives of atlanta having a great time and even though they were blasting music and it was incredible I couldn't really play any of the original audio because of the music in the background. And you know, most of the songs have, you know, copyrights and all of that on it. And if I allow it to play, the video will get blocked. So I won't be playing all the Fallon Instagram Live because of that. But there were moments on Instagram Live where she said some deep things that I wanted to share. You will still hear what she had to say, but I will have to chop it up because, because if I allow it to play in its entirety with the music, you know the drill. So let's get into it. No, I don't miss my ex at all. I don't give a fuck about a lifestyle. Um, I'm my own boss and I provide my lifestyle that I actually want. but love a man for a certain lifestyle, they're birds. I'm not a bird, so no, never. I'm my own boss, and I get myself my own type of lifestyle. I don't need no man to do that. I don't miss shit, because y'all don't know what it was that I dealt with. And y'all never know, because I'm never gonna speak on it, because it's nobody's business, to be honest. Whatever he wanna speak on is on him. Any ex, anybody that wants to speak on anything, that's on you. That I provide myself and my children, and that's what I live for. And if you don't like it, I don't give up. I'm humble over here. I don't live life to have the last laugh. And I understand what y'all are saying, but I don't live life to have the last laugh. That's very immature. Like. I'm not sitting here trying to laugh at nobody or to be like, oh yeah, I made it because you said I wasn't going to be this or that. So yeah, I'm that now. No, I just move the fuck on. That's it. I just move on. Legit. And I go and I have my own life for me and where I live life for myself and my kids. Like... And whatever somebody else's karma is, that's for them to answer to, not me. I don't care. I just don't care. I don't have any pain in me, so I don't know what y'all talking about. So happy. This is like the happiest I've ever been in my life. I don't know why. I'm just at peace. Oh my god! Um, I'm just at peace. By myself. And with myself. I don't know how else to say it. My life ain't broken, bitch. Um, I am with my son's aunt. My oldest son's aunt. I'm with her. Uh, she's always been the best uh, sister. I think, I think what a lot of people don't understand about me is that, that I'm a badass bitch. And I can have whatever the fuck I want to. And if I want to move on, I want to move on. If I don't, then I don't. Um, and a lot of people.
lot of people are uncomfortable with us tuning our own horns, but I had to learn to stop allowing people to hinder me from tooting my own horn. So now I tune the fuck out my own horn. And I can have whoever the fuck I want. Because I'm a badass bitch. And I'm happy to say that. <laughs> I'm happy to say that. I'm bad. Y'all are bad. Y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want to. I'm gonna do it. Fuck you. This shit is sexy. And I get it now. I get it. I get it now, guys. I get it. People do want you to dim your light because of their insecurities. And I'm I'm done with dimming my light for people. No, I'm a badass bitch. And I'm a badass bitch not necessarily because of my outside. Like, yeah, I'm fine as fuck on my outside. But I'm even finer on my inside. And I'm okay with saying that now, which I wasn't before because people try to make you feel bad. For loving yourself and for giving yourself your flowers. Uh, but no, fuck them, insecure ass motherfuckers. Uh, I feel good about myself and I'm loving this shit. Oh, and they're really out here feeling me. So you strictly date black men? Absolutely, 100%. I date within my race um, because. I just fucking love black men. I don't even know what else to say. They got big dicks. They got big loving. If I'm lucky enough, they love their mothers. And their mothers love them. Uh, they got the best personalities on this planet Earth. They got the best swag. <laughs> They're everything in one. What are you talking about? Love my black men. Hi, girl. I've, I've seen you a few times. Yeah. Valerie. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to get it wrong. No, you're fine. Right. So good to see you again. It's good to see you too. You about to head out? Yeah, we're leaving, so I want to make my rounds. Yeah, we're about to head out, too. Good night. Which, this is my first house party I've ever been to in my life. I never got to do this, because I had kids really early. So when everybody else was having, like, college parties and going out and partying, I was being a mom, so this is my first house party <laughs> that I've ever been to. <laughs> so I'm really loving it. it. It's cool. It's really awesome. Everybody here is really nice. And, uh, I'm just trying to experience stuff, guys. Where's our daughter? She is with her dad. I don't have any pain in me, so I don't know what y'all are talking about. So happy. This is like the happiest I've ever been in my life. I don't know why. I'm just at peace. By myself. And with myself. I don't know how else to say it. I like saying broken, bitch. I don't live life to have the last laugh. And I understand what y'all are saying, but I don't live life to have the last laugh. That's very immature. Like, I'm not sitting here trying to laugh at nobody or to be like, oh yeah, I made it because you said I wasn't going to be this or that. And so, yeah, I'm that now. No, I just moved the fuck on. That's it. I just move on. Legit.
and I go and I have my own life for me and where I live life for myself and my kids like and whatever somebody else's karma is that's for them to answer to not me I don't care I just don't care I love that because when she and her ex announced their breakup the other couple that's supposed to be so happy posted 150 times just to prove that hey look at us we made it they broke up we're doing so well and it was just like okay it was so terrible that after people dragged them that couple the the wife stopped posting for almost you know a week she she had to give it a break because it was like okay if you really want us to believe that the both of you are happy and it's going great. Ah, uh, yeah, go be overboard with the posting to proof a point. But I understand fair is fair because if it was the other way around and it was them that broke up, exactly, it was going to be the same thing. But I love that she's not living her life for people. She's not living her life for the I told you so people. She's living her true, authentic life. If it's not working out, I'm going to move on. I'm not about to stay in something unhealthy, being unhappy because I want to prove that I told you so people wrong and a bunch of strangers. I'm going to live my life for me. I'm going to be happy and I'm going to be free. And if the possibility of reconciliation happens, it happens. If not, life goes on. I'm not about to be stuck in something to say I got the last laugh. And, and there are a lot of people going through that right now because they care so much about what a bunch of strangers on the internet are going to say if they walk away from that relationship then choosing themselves their worth their peace and knowing that they are more than enough and walking away they want to stay there to get the last laugh like she said so i love that she lives her life for her and freely and i do wish her the best with everything all of the childhood trauma and everything that she talked about you know she's in therapy going through the healing process so i do wish her the best and in the next clip you know someone is going to troll her about the amount of kids she have with different fathers and she's going to troll them right back at this point okay what other insults do you have four different baby daddies right i'm gonna have five but see, the difference between me and you is, uh, I live for me. I live for my kids and their happiness and their success. I don't live for society. Fuck society. It's all me over here. And I'm still blessed. Because God is always going to have my back. He always going to love me because I love with my heart. And can't nobody change that. I love you. Uh, is uplifting other people's um, my life ain't perfect i was born in this world with stress and uh, turmoil but i continue to try to make the best out of it no matter what and i uplift my people because we live in a society in a society where um, our own people love to tear us down my black people love to tear me down, specifically. Um, I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. Real talk, I don't. And it's sad because I live in a world where I have to pick and choose, you know, within within my own my own society, my own people. Like, oh, do I fuck with you or do I not? Like, I can't just fuck with all of y'all, like, as a unit. Because y'all are so judgmental. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I was born watching the first man that I ever loved and trusted beat on my mother. And then she went from that relationship to another relationship where she thought she fell in love with another man who molested me. You know... And no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try to love people, it's 
like everybody wants to come from me for continuing to love. It's going to be good. My children, they have the biggest hearts in the world. And I've done nothing but fill them with love and nurture. Something that I did not have. So y'all can say whatever the fuck you want to about me and having children and multiple men and all that. But for the most part, men love them. They love their babies. And we're still good co-parents. And that's something that you don't even see in our community. So fuck you. If you got something negative to say about me and mine. My kids are good. I'm great. And I'm happy. At the end of the day, I made it. Oh my god. All my brothers are coming in. Guys, these are my brothers. Hey, everybody. Stay positive. Stay black. Take care of good sis. Always. Because if you don't, I block niggas off a page. <laughs> I block niggas off a page. You're leaving? Yeah. No. Love you. Okay, love you. Hey, I love y'all. Hope y'all love me. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Love you. Get home safe, please. So, okay, I will. Y'all get home, text me, I'll be, I'll be there. You gonna be there? Okay. I didn't fumble no bag. I made my own bag. And I got something else to show y'all later. My babies are forever love, and that's all I've ever <laughs> oh my god, and that's all I've ever wanted, it's forever love with my babies, I look sad, I'm not sad at all, it's the happiest I've ever been in my life, I just have clarity I guess. Oh, Emma. I do wish Fallon well on her healing journey. Fallon just simply saying that after everything she's been through, the fact that she's even capable to still allow love in her life and to still trust the process, she doesn't understand why people bash her for that. And I think where people are coming from is just, you know, take your time. You don't have to rush into the next relationship. And she's not. She's not in a relationship. You know, she went out. She had a great time hanging out with her brothers, her friends, and things like that but i understand people concerns but i do wish her the best and i do hope that she continues to not allow those negative comments and people just being so hard on her to get to her and i'm glad that she's still in counseling and she's doing well i'm wishing all of you well and take care my loves thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day guys. God bless.